Okay, here we are, night before the big day. I can't believe that it's already tomorrow. And today, I was gonna film some of the appointments, but I was I just wanted to soak everything in because I was thinking about this, how there's so much information that they throw at you that I can't believe, I mean, I'm very prepared mentally, I guess, for the surgery, and I can't imagine if this was something that you weren't really prepared for, to have to soak all of that in and actually understand what they're talking about. So um, I've done a lot of my own research about having a stoma and what the surgery is like and all that. And I, luckily I've had several several friends that have gone through this procedure as well. So they kind of told me what to expect. Um, but basically I have tons of paperwork. Uh, and the most important thing for today is the bowel preparation. <laughs> so um, I have all of these medications that I have to do tonight. And one of them is basically Miralax which I've never had before, so hopefully that doesn't taste too gross, I don't know. Can't be worse than New Lightly though. <laughs> so anyway, um, basically starting at 6 p.m. is when we'll start all the prep stuff, and then at 8 p.m. tonight I'll be able to call and find out my surgery time for tomorrow, but the nurse did tell me that I'll probably be the first one of the day of the two, so I'm really excited about that. It's supposed to be about a three hour surgery, and I keep getting nervous and excited all at the same time, just because I don't really know what to expect, I guess, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, the nurse keeps saying that I'm just going to wake up the next day and not have the pain that I'm so used to, which is very weird for me. I don't really understand. I don't know. I won't know it until I feel it, you know what I mean? Because I feel like, well, I'm probably going to have pain from the little incisions, but this was the cool part too. So I asked the surgeon how they take out the intestine because, I mean, it's a pretty big organ and he's only doing laparoscopic so it's a little five millimeter slits which is even smaller than I thought it was going to be so I'm going to have like four of those around and then he basically said because you're you know kind of like dehydrating I don't know if that's the correct word I think he said something else but basically um getting all the stuff out of your large intestine tonight and prepping it with all the stuff that I'm going to be drinking it it makes it so that it's a lot smaller you know what I mean so Anyway, whatever, then they, they can like pull it right out through where my stoma hole will be. So cool, very cool. I did actually watch a laparoscopic surgery on YouTube because I find that stuff interesting. If you're kind of squeamish about medical stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think overall I'm really tired today just because I feel like I've had a lot of amped up energy towards all of this. And then I can't believe that it's finally tomorrow. That is so weird. It's not going to set in until I wake up with the stoma, I think. This is the less glamorous side. Um, this is the hardest prep that I've ever done. If you um, go to Mayo like I did, ask for one of these. This is called a Queez Ease, and it has essential oils in it. I, this was the hardest prep with nausea. It feels like your worst hangover ever with all the laxatives that you have to take, but you have to like keep them in, you know, to let them work their all the way through. And, um, it was really hard, like the whole nausea thing. And I thought, oh, how weird you're taking, and they have it like programmed in there too to take anti-nausea pills as well. And I don't know if it's the laxative thing or also taking the antibiotics, but either way, I was so nauseous, but this really, really helped. And then I finally got some sleep now too, uh, for a couple hours. <laughs> and I don't know, I, it's 2 a.m. now, so I feel like I'm probably awake for the rest of the day. I get to go in at 6 a.m. is my arrival time, and then surgery will be shortly after. I highly recommend getting some Vaseline for the bum because um, you'll be going a lot and it kind of burns. Okay, so I, I feel like it's been really helpful to kind of get out and if you're watching this video, you already are sort of in the community of people who have ostomies or who are going through what you're about to go through maybe. Um, or looking into it for yourself in the future. That is something that really helped me to come to acceptance for having a stoma and then 
um, and going through the surgery and everything. And I actually have a couple of close friends that I've met through various things that we connected by having ulcerative colitis and then uh, they've gone ahead and done the surgery already before me. So I have two good friends that I talked to throughout the prep that I was like, oh my God, I feel like this is actual hell. And they're like, yep, but it's temporary. And I want to tell you that too. Everything that you go through, and it, it's hard to go through, but also it is temporary. It was only a couple hours and it was fine. Then you're fine. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you my, what they did. So yesterday when I met with the doctor, the stoma nurse came in and showed me like all about what it's like having a stoma and yada yada. Anyway, they mark you, so they like do a pretty thorough job to, to check where they're gonna do the, st the stoma. So I wanted to show you, let me see if I can like put you down. Oops, sorry for my hand. But anyway, so here they have two different possible sites. And so they kind of like based it off of where my belly button is and then kind of marked. And then they would, they'd be like, okay, stand, sit, bend over and where is like a good thing that's not gonna get all like smushed or whatever. I don't know what they're actually looking for, but that's what I thought. Anyway, they usually will go, because I'm having an ileostomy, they're gonna go with the right side here. But they did mark the left side too, just in case, whatever, if they get in there and like, I need to switch to, I don't know, whatever, it's like a backup one. So anyway, on here, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a little clear tape over it. So this is a surgical marker, so it's gonna just like stay there, whatever, till I go in. And then I had to, I gotta go away. I had to wash my whole body last night, and then I'll do it again today before the surgery with this like um, special soap that's supposed to really, really be antibacterial for you. So uh, yeah, that's all I know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if I can sleep a little bit more or watch Netflix because it's only, it's less than four hours till I get to go check in. So thank you for listening to my rambling and here we go for the next part. Bye. All right, so we're at the end of day one. It's about 9.30 at night. I had surgery this morning at 8 a.m. Um, it took about three hours and then I was in the recovery room for a while and then brought to my room. Today has been really good. Um, I kind of go up and down with pain, like right now when I'm talking, it hurts, but it's a different pain, kind of more right now, but they said that it'll improve after a while. So um, I've been trying to learn, I'm very stubborn when it comes to pain relief because I feel like I don't want to be categorized as a drug seeker you know what I mean so I'm always very like hesitant to um, ask for pain relief but I've been trying they said to, it's better to be ahead of it than to chase the pain so I've been trying to be better about it um, I have a heating pad on my abdomen right now and it feels pretty good actually I see that yeah um, and I looked at my stoma for the first time today and it's actually kind of cute <laughs> Um, everybody told me to name it, so I'm going to try to think of a cute name for it. Right now, all I want to call it is my little stone, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, I know I look like death, but I feel like I have more color in my face already. Um, I feel like I can kind of tell a difference that like, I don't have my large intestine anymore in the fact that, oddly, I do already have a little bit more energy when I'm laying here. I was up for my first walk today, and I'll insert little clips of that. Um, it went really well. I felt like I was drunk, kind of, like when I woke up, you know, because I had the, or not woke up, when I stood up to go and walk. And then when I laid back down, I made the mistake of using my ab muscles to help me lay back down. And that pain was so bad afterwards, it kind of built up after that. But anyway, um, 
I just talked to my night nurse and she said that after all of the good pain meds from the, the operating room wear off, tomorrow it's going to be quite painful. So then the next day is going to be easier. And I think going into that, knowing that tomorrow is going to be more painful, I can get through it. You know what I mean? Um, I might even be able to shower tomorrow, which is exciting. <laughs> and then she said that that's going to really wipe me out too. So um, yeah, just taking it day by day. I am really happy that I did the surgery. I can't believe it's here already. I can't believe I did it. Like, I, all I remember was, I don't even know, I don't even remember being put to sleep in the OR. Like, I don't remember seeing my surgeon there or anything. It was like, good night world. <laughs> so anyway, okay, um, I'll check back in tomorrow and let you know how I'm doing. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe this video. All right, bye. All right, we're on the end of day two. It's about 7 p.m. and I got up and did seven walks today and got up to the chair about five times. They took the catheter out this morning and then um, one of my IV lines for my hand. Um, the ostomy nurse came around and helped me figure out how to change my bag myself. So I did that and it went really well. So I was really happy with that. And uh, she'll be stopping by again tomorrow to just go over it again and make sure that I feel comfortable. With that, um, I've been able to eat solid food today and just kind of see how everything is going and so far so good. Um, I still think it's so crazy that like the pain that I was used to is gone and now of course I have like just a surgical site pain and we finally got it under control. It's been kind of a battle today to get it but it worked finally. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because um, a few people have told me that they think tomorrow will be the day I get to go home, which is really exciting. Everyone says that I am healing pretty fast and am able to advance to the next things really quickly. So that is a really good sign. My stoma is behaving very well. So um, it looks like my next nurse is going to be coming in soon. So I'll check back in tomorrow. Okay, bye. Yay, we're finally out of the hospital. So uh, we have about a three and a half hour drive back home and I'm hoping that the pain meds stay on board that whole time because <laughs> I can feel every bump in the road it seems. So um, right now we're just picking up the rest of our stuff from Airbnb that my husband stayed at while I was in the hospital and then we'll be on our way. I can't believe I was able to get released after just two days after um, surgery, but they said everything went really well and I learned to change my own ostomy bag really well, and they said I've just been advancing a lot quicker than other people usually do, so I'm pretty pumped about that, because I was expecting to still be in there until tomorrow, but I can't wait to go back home to my own bed and to see my puppy and my kitty. I'm just so excited. So overall, I am so happy that I had this surgery done. I definitely don't have the same pain in my intestines, obviously, because they're not there anymore. The large intestine, if you're just tuning in, <laughs> is not there anymore, um, so I had that taking it whatever anyway um so what was I gonna say oh you know I just have like the pain around the stoma and then um, not really like the little incisions the little laparoscopic incisions those don't really hurt but like my just belly kind of hurts probably from them you know twisting around there and taking out the large intestine and making a stoma hole I'm sure probably is why it hurts and it's only day two after surgery but I feel like I had a lot less pain than yesterday and it's a lot more under control today and one of the things that my surgeon said is you don't have to be brave and try to not take pain meds so soon because you just had surgery it's normal to have pain and it's better to keep up on it rather than to chase the pain like if you just let it go and then it's like really hard to get it back you know so anyway whatever oh, I'm so happy to be on the other side of this and I had some thoughts, you know, even going into surgery, I was, I had thoughts of being scared, like, is this right? Should I do this? Um, but I'm very happy that I went ahead and did it. So thank you so much for watching this video so far, and I'll be sure to check in with more updates later on. But yeah, um, feel free to message me with any questions or comment below. I'm an open book and I am more than happy to help you uh, learn more about this. And if you have any specific questions, don't feel bad if they're gross or whatever. I'm, I'm definitely willing to talk about them. So, all right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.